Yeah. Hello and welcome to Kimber Bushcraft. Uh, today I'm in the little wild bog. Uh, yeah, and it's been a wonderful uh, trip out here. A little bit of rain, but now you can see the sun is shining and uh, I think it's gonna be a good day. Yeah, I'm out here. I'm making a, a meal with my new skillet or uh, pan I can hang over the fire. So I'm looking very much forward to that. And uh, most of you can guess what it is I'm going to cook in this. I mentioned it last time when I presented this little pan. And um, yeah, beside that, I have some great news to tell you about my uh, fireball. I'll put it up in a moment. I first have to cut some firewood, uh, then prepare my fire and uh, the fireball. Yeah, I have some good news about that. And I'll tell you, tell you about that a little bit later too. So yeah, now it's time to find a dead standing tree that I can use for my firewood. So yeah, let's go down and see if we can find that. It's a little bit punky inside, yeah.
going to make my flatbread first. So we can rest a little bit. So a little bit of flour. And a little bit of oil. A little bit of honey. It's cold so it's getting thick. Well, that's enough. A little bit of salt. Yeah, and of course water. I actually think today I got a beer. Yeah, I'll tell you about that later. But now I'm going to put beer in. See how that tastes. more I think. And I use a, a new flower today. Uh, it's wheat but it's more, I don't know what you call it, coarse grain perhaps, like coffee. It hasn't been grinded as fine as I usually have my, my flat rate. So yeah, I'll let it rest while I'm preparing my uh, fire. Fluff it up here, yeah. See there, the smoke from Amadou. Here we are. And the, the reason why this um, video is called uh, Magic Number no. Nine is because in the uh, North mythology it is number nine that is a very uh, mystical and uh, holy uh, number and if you read about uh, it it is 
uh, again and again mention in uh, certain uh, circumstances that the number nine is something special. And uh, yeah, I've made a little video about that and uh, I would like to show you that now. Yeah, hope you enjoy. In North mythology, there are nine worlds. Yggdrasil, the tree of life, is supporting these nine worlds. It is Asgard, home of the god called Asia. Alfheim, the land of the light elves. Vanaheim, the home of the Vanir gods. Midgard, the world of the humans. Jotunheim, this was where the giant dwelt. Svartalfheim, this is where the dark elf lived. Nita Vilir, the dwarf had their territory here. Muspelheim, the land of fire. The ruler was Surt and Niflheim. The mist world in the center of Niflheim was a world of the dead, ruled by hell. Odin, the chief of gods, hung himself in Yggdrasil. Yggdrasil was the name of the tree of life. He spent nine days and nine nights hanging in the tree. Odin made this sacrifice of himself to gain power over the runes and learn their secrets. Odin allowed himself to be held by King Gerrit for eight days and nights and killed him on the ninth day after revealing his true identity. Two dwarfs named Brock and Sindri made a beautiful golden ring for Odin. This was a magical ring. The name of the ring was Draupnir. Every ninth day the ring would reproduce eight new rings of equal quality as the original ring. In Norse mythology there is a time called Ragnarok. Ragnarok is the doom of the gods. Ragnarok is the end of the world. During Ragnarok, Thor fights a horrible battle with the Midgård serpent. Thor finally managed to kill the serpent. As the serpent dies, Thor walk nine steps. As he takes the ninth step, Thor falls down to the ground dead. He died from all the poison that the serpent has spit out. There are nine great lindworms, Jormungandr, the Midgard serpents, and eight others. Every nine years, people from all over Sweden assembled in the temple of Uppsala. There was feasting for nine days and sacrifice of both men and male animals, according to Adam of Bremen. The Steintoften runestone mentioned a sacrifice of nine he-goats and nine stallions. And the fire for the blood was lit by nine kinds of wood. Egia was a sea god and was the father of nine daughters, the waves. The nine daughters had names describing different characteristics of the waves. The nine sisters were all mothers of one son named Heimdall, the god of the Bifrost, the rainbow bridge between Asgard, the world of the gods, and Midgard, the world of the humans. The god Hermod rode on Sleipner, Odin's horse, for nine nights on his quest to free Baldur from the underworld. The giant Baugin had nine trolls who killed each other in their desire to possess Odin's magical sharpening stone. The giant Trivaldi has nine heads. And the wild knot symbol is three interlocking triangles forming nine points. Yeah. As you can see, number nine is a very important uh, number in uh, North mythology. And uh, it is also my lucky number. Yeah.
uh, this is what is going in my new hanging pan. Mushrooms, bacon and, and this one I have cream. So I know this is a tasteful dinner or meal. So looking very much forward to that. I got a new mug from uh, Grimfrost Birka, um, a ripper kit. This one has been out of stock for some while and I wanted it for a long time. Now I finally got it. So I will drink my meat in this. Oh yeah. everyone. Mm. And then I think the bread is finished. I can put it over here. And then for the first time trying this. Yeah. First I'll take the butter on. And then the bacon in. Almost there, I think. Looking good. Wow, now it's beginning to rain.
And somehow I broke my pipe. Uh, it's a pipe I got from uh, Martin. I think it was his granddad's pipe, something. So it's not a, a expensive pipe, but sad I can't smoke it. I'll see if we can use this to smoke the last bit of the tobacco in this pipe. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Sometimes I lay it on the ground and then I don't see where where I put my foot and then this will happen. Luckily it happened, happened before with some of my uh, more expensive pipes. And now for the, the, the great thing today, um, in my video where I made my, I showed my fireball, I said that if everyone was interested in uh, producing that, I would be inter interested in that. And actually a comedy called Kuni, uh, it's uh, two guys, Christian and Bastian, uh, they uh, contacted me and say they were very interested in making this uh, to a real project. They're going to make, or we are going to make, a Kickstarter project. Uh, we are making a sample, uh, so uh, we can see if it works. It's not going to be uh, uh, made like mine in the hands, but some laser cuttings and so on. Uh, and uh, then we'll uh, promote it. And uh, of course, I'll keep you updated. Uh, so if you're interested in this project, you can join the Kickstarter project. More about that later. But I'm so grateful for, uh, for that because they 
have a nice little uh, web shop. Uh, you can go in and watch it. They have some cool stuff and they actually sent me uh, these stuff I, you can see here. And uh, yeah, uh, great, uh, some great pouches with, uh, made from um, canvas, wax canvas. Uh, it's really uh, good quality and uh, they sell uh, other brands, but they also have their own brand, Kuni. And uh, that's where my uh, little fireball is going to be. Yeah, and uh, they actually also sent me uh, some beers from their home in the home country, Germany. Uh, local beer, and I uh, always love uh, tasting local beer, so I'm very grateful for that too. Yeah, now we'll see how it goes and how uh, fast this uh, will uh, evolve. But uh, we hope that sometime, perhaps uh, after the summer, uh, you'll be able to buy this if everything oh there's a crow again or a raven yeah um, where was i yeah i hope you can buy that uh, if you want to uh, i'm sure it will be a success because it's a good design and uh, christian and bastian was very excited for that too so uh, yeah We'll keep on trying and see if uh, we can get enough backup uh, for this Kickstarter project so it could be produced in uh, large numbers. And of course it's be the bowl, uh, like this one, and uh, with a tripod. Not going to be the same as this one because it's a little uh, complicated to make, but we are working on another solution, also a tripod that can fold out like this one, but yeah. Uh, more about that later uh, during the, the the spring here. Yeah, and get 10% uh, discount on your first order by using this code Kimba10. I have something else to tell you. Uh, I actually got a full-time job now, and um, yeah, and that maybe will uh, have an influence in my uh, YouTube channel because I'm not sure I can make videos every week. I only have time for making those videos in the, in the weekends, so perhaps I have to, just for a period, uh, upload new videos every 14 nights. Uh, we'll see. If I can, I will make videos every week, uh, as I uh, always have done, but yeah, just be prepared if uh, there's a week where my videos uh, are not launched. Uh, I'm not gone. I'll be back. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, and thank for all the uh, nice comments uh, regarding my little new buddy, Cornelius. I don't have him with me today because, as I said, he's only nine uh, weeks old and he can't walk very far. And uh, this is a place I have to walk several miles to come out here. And most of my places are uh, far away from uh, traffic and uh, the parking uh, lot I'm uh, parking my car on. So. Um, I think there will be a couple of months before you'll see him out on my uh, hikes, my Viking hikes. But uh, I'm sure Cornelius is looking very much forward to that. He's a little uh, troublemaker. He uh, takes everything in the house that he uh, are not allowed to and uh, run <laughs> with him. I have to run after him. So it's like having a little baby again. Yeah, but I love it. And he's so kind and so, uh, yeah, generous, a little uh, guy, he uh, licks my face every time we're going to, um, to sleep and uh, yeah, I just love him. And I know you can see that in my video from my Kimber camp. Now I'm just, now I'm just sitting here relaxing and enjoying nature. It's not uh, a couple of weeks, then the spring will be here and uh, yeah, everything will be green again. I'm looking very much forward to that. It's my favorite time of year. Yeah, folks, this is all for now. I hope you enjoyed this little video and the information about the magic number nine in Norse mythology. And also, 
my update on my fire bowl. The chance that it's going to be for sale on a web shop is a big thing for me. So I'm very grateful for that. Uh, thank you, Christian and Bastian. I'm very appreciate your help and support in this project. Yeah. Thank you again for watching Kimmer Bushcraft. Then I hope to see you again on the next one. Bye bye. Take care. Skål.